Yo, welcome to Megascorcher.com, here for another old school I am while Matt's sporting a new haircut. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I've been meaning to do this game for a very, very long time. I just, it, it's hard to record these DOS games, I gotta tell you. So, I'm actually not going to be playing this live. I made this recording earlier with uh, DOS Box. And uh, this was a great, great Apogee game back in the day. Um, I played this as a shareware game, so that's that's how I played it today too. Is that's the only experience I ever, ever had with this game. I've never had the full game, which is sad. But uh, you get to play this old guy, and he's doing stuff in this Mystic Tower. There's more than one, uh, but the shareware version only has one, and that's all I ever played with. So there you go. Uh, but again, you play as this Baron, and. Uh, I guess the village gets attacked by monsters and stuff, and uh, what you gotta do is go in these towers, destroy uh, some m monster creators, uh, is what they're called, I guess. They're, they're like towers that, or monster generators is what they're called. And uh, here you go, you get a little intro story if you do want to go through it. It doesn't really say all that much, it just says, uh, hey. You gotta go save the village from these evil monsters. Please accept this quest and then you go do the game, pretty much. That's really the game. That's that's all you really do. Um, f for the time that this came out, it, I thought it was so cool and so much advanced. Like you could move in 3D space like you can see here. Um, it combined a lot of elements of different games too, so like you have some action in here, it's not, you're not going turn-based strategy, but there's a lot of strategy in this game too, uh, like you gotta find out puzzles and you got a lot of different uh, abilities that you get to play around with, so you see where it says 8 and there's like that green thing, that's the weapons. Um, well, they're not all weapons, those are spells actually, and yeah, some of them are weapons like this guy that I was just shooting. Uh, I was using that weapon, and uh, you have unlimited ammo of uh, the, your weakest one, which is just a, like a blue ball that you shoot. Uh, you'll, I'll do it soon here, but uh, you see on the left side you have the food meter and the water meter. Uh, when those deplete, your health goes down, but if you keep them high, your health also auto-regenerates, so that's good. But uh, if you get hit by the monsters about four, four or five times, depending on how, how strong they are and stuff, um, you will die. Y you cannot get attacked too much about, uh, against the monsters here. So you can see me going through them. Uh, you get a bomb that you can pick up. You have a heal spell. Um, you have these stars which allow you to teleport in certain spots. Uh, the, the, I guess if I had to lodge one complaint about the game is that I wish picking the spells were easier because it's spacebar and that only lets you cycle through them one way, you know what I mean? So if you miss it once, you have to recycle through all of them. And there's about 10, so you have to be pushing the, the space bar a bunch of times to get back to it. Uh, you can see the monster has their health bar on the right there. Uh, it also tells you how many monsters are in the tower remaining. And that's what you gotta do, you just gotta clear the towers of monsters and then also destroy the, ta the monster generator. Uh, you can see there I got hit by bombs a couple times. <laughs> Total booby trap there. Uh, but my health should be going up automatically maybe. Yeah, there you go. You see. Slowly goes up. As long as you have water and food, you're good. And uh, yeah, not, not that many games did that back then, having your health just regenerate like that so of course this is a game of the, non the 90s so you're collecting keys uh, as you can see right there I got the yellow key that opens the yellow doors ha I know right crazy who would have thought it so this is pretty much all the game it gets harder and there's more uh, crazy monsters to defeat like this guy this guy will actually shoot at you a lot so uh, when you attack him he, he's the, that's a funny thing about most of the the monsters they're kind of friendly until you start attacking them 
so you can see I'm going crazy. And it can also go into other rooms. Which at the time I was just like, that's crazy. Not very many games did that back then. Where they would enemies would just go like, oh, I'm out of here. Screw this crap. Uh, so yeah, and yeah, sometimes their guy will just not eat because he's not hungry, so uh, sometimes it's smart to just leave food there so you can come back to it later if you need it. Because you will backtrack for, for some parts, especially where you gotta open doors where you don't have the key for it yet. You can also play the entire game with the mouse. You can see down there you have all the controls listed, but you can also play with the mouse. Um, I don't know why you do that unless... I, I really don't know why you do that. It's just, I think I I've always played it with the, the keyboard. So closing doors is also a smart idea in this game, especially if there's monsters around. So that if you just want to bypass a monster for now, you can open the door and then close it behind you. Just make sure that you don't get attacked. Like like that, like that right there. Awesome health there. Opening the door and oops, there's a monster there and he's right here now. Uh, some of the some of the abilities include like you can levitate as well. That's another ability. You shoot fireballs, which does more damage than this venom cloud that I have selected right now. Um, there's a reveal spell. So if there's a secret in a room and you want to reveal it, uh, you just go with the spell, and it'll be like, "Hey, there's a secret right here," which uh, see it's telling me right now. Right here in the scroll. Question mark on the ground. And you also see the map on the bottom right there, so you don't get lost. But there's multiple floors to each tower, of course. It's a tower, so why wouldn't there be? But uh, that, that's how you clear the towers, is you just go, you kill all the monsters, and you make sure that the monster generator is gone. And then you go to the next tower. And you can see right there that I'm going to pick up the cloud. That's the levitate spell. And you can see the the five on the ground. That just means like it's teleporter number five, I believe, is what it means. So you know where you're teleporting and stuff. Um, so you select a, the star spell, and then you go on top of the five, and then you can teleport to the next one. But everything about this game was so sweet back then, man. Like you got to play an old guy just hobbling around and jumping on stuff and uh, you can drink beer and then he gets all crazy and spins and uh, he has a lot of funny stuff like you just saw there he spun and he made a funny noise and uh, he has a lot of stuff like that if you just stand around doing nothing uh, he'll do some funny stuff as well which back then I think every game did that really it's just like oh, okay Sonic's gonna stand around for a little bit oh look at that he's going crazy tapping his foot he wants you to go. Why? Or why aren't you going? And that, that's I. That's not what he did really. He just like picked his ear and and did stuff and laughed. And yeah, and for the time, this game just there was something about it that till this day I I still just love it. It just. So yeah, you also get some money that you saw here earlier. I have 10 coins. Uh, you can use the, the coins for spells, mostly. I, I think that's the only real way you can use the coins, actually, is, is for spells. So that's not bad. The higher up on the, the tower you are, too, uh, the better the spells will be. But uh, also the harder the, the monsters will be as well. So it's a payoff. Or a trade-off, I should say. These guys are probably the one, some of the guys that hurt you the most with one hit. So you do not want to get bit by these guys because it will hurt. So you can see up there, there's like coins. I, I don't know if it gives you four. It looks like it's four, three. It gives it, four coins gives you three. <laughs> See, like right there, he picked his nose. That's pretty. It's pretty funny, right? I'm not the only one that finds that funny. <laughs> I 
Yeah, and a lot of different monsters in this game that were pretty interesting, like this guy, like a snake with a dress, it looks like, and like that blue dragon thing with the wheels. Just, just weird, interesting stuff in this game. I, I, I've been trying to find or remember the name of this game for a long time, and then when I finally remembered, I was like, oh my god, yes, I can't believe I remembered it. Oh, he farted. <laughs> Good stuff. <coughs> but there's just a lot of secrets too, so um, here you go. That's the monster generator right there. Uh, you use a bomb to destroy it, which we have none of right now, which is all good. Fine by me. I look at this thing, like, what is that? It's like two horns with a body and a wheel to move around. It's just crazy. It's crazy. And it shoots fireballs. I just don't get it. It's just nuts. can also pull stuff with the backspace which comes in handy when you push an object into a corner and you need it to uh, solve a puzzle it gets annoying so right here I'll show off the uh, teleport feature because th th you could backtrack and go back to the beginning but it's it's really not worth it so why not just use the star you have plenty of them usually you have plenty of them anyways so you see those purple things on the ground? There's a way to deactivate them. Uh, you can't walk through those. It's like an invisible wall, really. So right here, th this is pretty much back at the beginning of the game here. Um, I was stupid and decided to eat that mushroom, and uh, that killed me. So I just lost a life there. Uh, the mushrooms will help you when you are already poisoned. They will de-poison you. If that's a word, then I will accept it as a word. <laughs> Even if it's not a word, I will accept it as a word. Screw it, I said it already. So you see here he's drunk, so he's all like, Whoa! Spinning in a circle. <laughs> and there's another trap there. So here, this is the ultimate key. So you get this right at the end. Um, when you've killed all the monsters and destroyed the monster generator you get a special key and to get out of the tower and that's how you finish a level so well, right now we'll go teleport some more go find this bomb here um, go adventure out a little bit more then uh, when we destroy that monster generator generator we might as well call it a day here for old school but if you never played this game and uh, this looks like it interests you you should play it because it is really awesome um, this is say that there's a uh, tile on the floor that will poison you. I already know that it's the middle one, so I always try to avoid it. But then stupidly went on it anyways. But that's okay, there was a mushroom back here. So I knew I was fine to uh, get myself healed from that shit. <coughs> so this that's the, the first key you get. That first key unlocks any door uh, that is just ge like general like that. Like just... A keyhole will open it. Uh, the colored ones are the ones that will open the appropriate ones here. So right now I just have something that will make uh, my spells more powerful. Hurt the enemies more. Uh, you can see right there that that tile opens the door. I walked over it. Walk over it again to open it. So you see right here like one shot almost killed them already. Bang. I wish you could have that the entire game. And yeah, Apogee, man. Back in the day, Apogee had some pretty crazy games. Some good games. I, I remember loving the shit out of... Um, oh, man. The guy with the helmet. Why am I forgetting his name? Right when I say that, eh? I love Apogee. Oh, this game that I don't remember the name of. I love it. <laughs> No, uh, 
Damn, he was in Doom too. You could kill him at the very end of a level. It was a secret level. Or was it a secret level? No, I don't even remember. I wish I remembered his name, but uh, maybe we'll do that next on Old School, because I also like that game a lot. So, The guy with the helmet that went in space and stuff. Man. Really wish I remembered the name, but I don't. So, here we are. Here you go. This is a good example of using the pole right there. Uh, if you ate that mushroom, you would just get poisoned, but you can just pull it out. And that, that's it. Yeah, a lot of games didn't even do that back then. Uh, like if you played Chip's Challenge and you pushed a block into a corner, you were just like, well, fuck, I got to restart this entire level. Even if you took 15 minutes to finish that level, you got to restart that whole 15 minutes. So now we have a shield where uh, even if the monsters do attack us, it won't hurt us. So you might as well destroy this guy here. We're almost done with all the monsters. There's only four left. <coughs> so here, we're going to teleport. We might as well go get these things. And then I decided to teleport up here for some reason. Which uh, I did not really need to do, I guess. I, it did teleport me closer to the monster generator, so I, I went and did that for sure. Destroy me that monster generator. And then after that, only four monsters left. Collect that key and get the hell out of there. Um, I think that key is behind the monster generator. And I, I'm pretty sure that door opens when you kill everybody. Is how it works. I, I, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Who knows. So there you go. No more monster generator. Saving the peoples. You gotta love the random falling bombs. So right here, I, I tried to jump over it. I was like, maybe you can jump over it, but no, no, you cannot. Uh, I'll just show off one last thing here, and then uh, we'll get to finishing this uh, old school here. There's a room coming up here that will have a strange symbol and at first I, I didn't remember what it was and this monster see like that's what I mean by this guy is pretty deadly he will kill you fast if you allow him to do so he's also very tough man I also probably have uh, not the weakest spell in the game, but the, the weakest spell that, that you do not have unlimited of. So. There's that as well. And um, this purple barrier here can uh, fool you because you can see right there, it's not actually blinking in front of that door. Now you see that symbol on the left side right there on the wall? That means that there's a secret in this room, and I should have known when I, I did when I came in here. But uh, you saw that green carpet just led into a wall. Uh, that's actually an invisible door, but it's okay. We'll go through it right on this next side here. We'll take him down with the fireball. Much more powerful than than the other things we've been using so far. So here you go. At first I thought it was maybe this dog statue wolf thing that was the secret, but uh, no, I, I remember pulling stuff like that in one level though, so not exactly sure. So here you go, it tells you that there's a mystery in this one. And then I, I looked at the carpet, I was like, oh, hey, look, I remember this part now. But I was already in that room, so it doesn't really matter. But I uh, figured I'd show it off, and I was like, oh, yeah, here you go. There you go. Invisible door. But uh, that, that'll do it. Thanks for watching, man. You should really check out this game. 
uh, if you've played it before or not, it's still fun today. So I would suggest you to uh, go download it, share where it's on the internet right now if you want to check it out. Mystic Towers is what it's called, and we're going to die here and call it a day. See ya!